everybody, it's Debbie. If you're new to the channel, I am a pro house cleaner with over 35 plus years. I'm gonna show you how to do pro house cleaning easily, even if you're just a beginner. So what kind of things did your mom not teach you about cleaning? Because my daughter said laundry. I just never really thought about it, but I never taught her how to do laundry. I told her I have a video on that. <laughs> so if there's something I don't cover today, I probably have a video on that and I made it for my family, for my children and for you so that everybody can learn how to do cleaning on their own time, their own pace. Now, nobody is born a pro house cleaner. Everything is learned in life, including cleaning. But I do have the basics here that will help you to do all of your house cleaning. First things first, SOS pads. They are a steel wool pad, fairly old fashioned, but there are so many things you can do with it. You can do pots, pans, stove, floors, utensils, plates, dishes, bowls. There's a ton of things. Now these can scratch and you do wanna be careful. Nothing is foolproof. Everything has to risk when cleaning, so you wanna do an inconspicuous spot. But I'm telling you, you'll need these at some point in time in your life and they're great to have on hand. So I'm just washing up this pot that I had on the campfire. This is an SOS pad. And look at what it does. Sometimes it will scratch, so you wanna be careful. But this is just a great trick. It will get your pot looking like new in no time. I'm not finished it, but you can see the difference already, I'm sure. Ivory is one of the things that are in all of my videos. And I have to say that if you didn't have anything else except for ivory, you could do almost all of your cleaning. You can use it full strength on your bathtub, bathroom sink, in your toilet. You can also use it diluted in a bucket of water and you can do your floors, you can wash windows. There's no need to have a glass cleaner when you have ivory, voila, shiny, shiny clean windows. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a 30 second sink tutorial. That's about all it takes to clean your bathroom sink. It's so easy. You got your ivory, squirt. A little water on your cloth, swish. Do the top part. Do your taps. If you scrub, it's going to wash away the germs. And then you just take your cloth and keep on rinsing. Nice hot water. So I'm gonna take my cloth that is a little bit drier and I'm gonna go around the taps. Take a dry cloth. So anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Everybody knows that I love Dr. Bronner's and it is so environmentally friendly too. It's lavender castile soap. You can get it in all different scents. Dr. Bronner's has been around for a really long time. It smells amazing. It'll make your house smell so good. Use it full strength or you can use it diluted in a bucket of water and it's great for everything. Just as many uses as the ivory if not more because you can also use it on yourself including your skin, your hair, your pet. So many uses. Wonderful, wonderful for all purpose cleaner. Magic erasers. Now these are no name ones. I've never used this kind before, so let's see how they do. But I've used some magic eraser brands that weren't Mr. Clean kind, and they work perfectly fine. So these ones are $2. The next step up was like $3.99. I'm willing to try the $2 ones. Let's see if they work. I had a shelf there and did a little damage. So we're gonna try to get that off with the new no name magic eraser unboxing so ew, they feel really kind of yucky I'm gonna just dampen it in my water I'm gonna use some ivory on it give it extra strength now in my wall washing video some people said that this removed their paint they probably muscled it too much um, I've never had that issue before so just go lightly do a test spot see if this thing works squish out a little bit of the water so it's not gonna drip all over I don't know if I'm feeling the, the no-name one. Oh, it's a horrible sound. It's not working. Okay, the no-name one didn't pass the test that great. I would suggest maybe not the no-name brand one. 
let's try another spot. Can you see that? Okay, well that's not bad. Um, not bad. I think, I think I've had better luck with the other ones, so I'm gonna try it on here, because this is muddy. That worked great. Okay, so it works on some stuff. Now you're gonna need a mop, the Velita mop. It's the best. It comes with removable heads. You can get these online on Amazon. I'm gonna to try to put links to everything in the description down below. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any of these products. I just love them and, and I want you to be able to have the benefit of really good, good solid products. These just snap right on. Get a couple of extra mop heads. And this is so good for everything. Wait till I show you what it can do. The other thing you're going to need is a Valida bucket. It matches the mop. And you need the bucket in order to wring it out. I can show you in two seconds how wonderful this thing is. You can wash your ceilings very easily. Windows. Wall. <laughs> you can wash your walls. You can wash so many things with this. And your floors, of course. So this is something that will cut your cleaning time down to next to nothing. You want to get a Valida mop system. It's just incredible. We're going to do some overall cleaning. We're going to fill up the bucket with some hot water. And we're going to put some Dr. Bronner's in there. And just two squirts. One, two. Two little squirts. No magic amount. It'll smell beautiful. It won't foam up a lot. It smells really good. Well, there's a million things I could show you how to clean that it would go on and on and on but I feel like once you have the basic cleaners you can clean anything with them you're gonna want to go around and clean the stuff like this and this and under I have videos that are specialized on all of these things I want you to know that you don't just become a cleaner it's practice it's learning that if you want it shiny there's two steps wash it then dry it. If you use the right stuff, it's gonna be beautiful. If your counters aren't clear, then clear them. Clear them, then clean it. If you don't, then you're going to end up with little dust bunnies around behind things. And if something needs to be cleaned, then take the time, dust it, and put it back when you're all finished cleaning your surface. So other than those few items, that is really all you need other than maybe a vacuum. If you don't have a vacuum, keep your eye on the side of the road. I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe how many vacuums I've got off the side of the road. I'd pick them up. Somebody just didn't clean it out or perhaps the belt was missing or fallen off. You go to the store, get a new belt, $7.99, you got a new vacuum. I'm telling you, I've gotten some really nice vacuums that way. Just take your cleaning step by step. Try not to build room in a day. If you can only do one cleaning task per day, so be it. Just remember that each time you do something, it's gonna get easier and easier. If you just use the basic cleaners that I've showed you, little by little, you're gonna realize what kind of lifesavers they are. You're going to be able to clean your home really quickly and easily. As you clean your home, I think you realize that you try not to make it messy in the first place. It's just a learning curve. Best of luck in your cleaning. Tell me what you need to learn how to clean. If there's something that isn't on my list of stuff in my description down below, then let me know and I'll certainly try to help you out by making you a video. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Don't work too hard. I hope your cleaning goes really smooth and easy. Shine on me, shine on me. to give me help all i'm asking for is just some space and some time then i'll be all right i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get